So out of all of those puts I've just played, one birdie, two pars, um, and again, I'm just applying those decade principles. Putting pace is the most important thing. Not line, it's pace. You get your pace right, a foot short or a foot long, you're not gonna have a bad putting day. One of the reasons I wanted to go back and do a video today was just to discuss decade. It's been a real game changer in terms of the way I've been thinking, but say for nine hole stretches, for four hole stretches, I've noticed a massive difference in my mindset. And I think that if you haven't looked at decade foundations, you really should do. So as you can see, this is me setting up a drill with two tee pegs, 20 feet apart. I've got a selection of balls that I'm gonna try and roll over that marker. Uh, and I'm, I'm aiming for uh, no further than a foot pass to a foot short. Uh, this is just explained in the Decade Foundations app, Putting Made Easy, and it's saying that if you have a shot pattern that you're trying to centre over the hole, you're likely to go a foot long or a foot short, and some, some players will have a dispersion that's slightly larger than that. Obviously, they'll be left and right to factor in as well. So all I'm trying to do is roll up the ball to that distance because... I'm not gonna miss from a foot out, not unless it's a really severe slope. So just working on my pace controls, like putting through a gate. And this is exactly the kind of drill that you'd use with new beginner golfers or junior golfers to work on an element of pace control, getting them to stri strike the center of the putter face in order to get a more predictable roll. What you'll see here is uh, my puts that were short and puts that were long. So, uh, take it from a couple of angles so you can see the difference and generally speaking you've got one two three four five six puts that would have been easily holdable and then you've got a couple of testers back so again i'm setting up the same drill same amount of balls in order to make it a little bit of a fair test for me to get an idea of my dispersion trying to roll it over the same hole with from 20 feet so i've done uphill now doing downhill Working on exactly the same things here. So I've got my right hand high, left hand low. Trying to make sure I get this a consistent strike and my wrists don't break down. I'm putting the ball position in exactly the same place. I'm trying not to adjust with my eyes uh, and watching, say, the outcome of my previous stroke. I'm trying to just roll it on the same pace and what I feel like the, uh, is the pace for that hole. So I do have a tendency for my eyes to follow the ball as soon as I'm hitting the ball. That's something I am going to be working on to try and improve my own technique. Um, but I have found just by doing these drills, um, my putting stroke is much more solid. I'm not fanning the putter face open or closed uh, on the backswing or the follow through. Uh, I am trying to keep that triangle between my arms and my chest and just say rocking the shoulders. And I have found that left hand low really helped this with my putting technique. So at this point, I'm not focusing on any kind of line, which is what I'd prescribe for anybody practicing their putting at the moment. Pace is the most important thing. Line comes later. Uh, there is a great video on putting made easy on Decade Foundations that explains this really well about optimum line and high line, low line. But if you can't get your pace control right, then you can't work on that. And that is exactly what I've been finding out when I've been playing the course. Uphill puts, not too bad. Pace is okay. Downhill puts, take a look for yourself. Now you could probably argue the only reason these have gone two feet past at the minimum, three foot, four foot past, even four and a half foot past. It's the fact that they hit the fringe. So if I hadn't hit the fringe, they possibly would have been little bit further past and that's what I found when I've been playing competitions and I've been playing my social golf is that I've just given myself too much to do and if it has been a bit more of a downhill slope I've given myself six foot five feet left sometimes for bogey so that's something I'm working on I'm going to keep working on this drill um, and again I'm just applying those decade principles putting pace is the most important thing not line it's pace you get your pace right, a foot short or a foot long, you're not going to have a bad putting day. Now, for in order for any practice to be successful, you've obviously got to take it to the course. So that's what I did the next day. Uh, I just played my ball as it was, uh, just playing in real situations. I haven't dropped any balls here. I just, where my ball landed, I've played the ball front. I said the first put, not too bad. 
Uh, I didn't rush it past. I had to go for a bit of fringe and it's a bit of a uphill against the fringe and then it flattens out towards the ridge. Again, just tried to keep my same routine, keep the same structure, focused on my line and knocked it in for two putts. So i say in the competition, I'd be pretty happy with that. And the next hole had a similar putt, but it was a downhill putt this time. And what I found in my practice, I was rushing these past far too fast. So I've had to factor that's in that I'm not hitting it as hard as I probably think I need to hit it. And that's you know, cozy me right up to the hole. And it was, I could have probably tapped it in with the putter grip really. But that was an easy tap in, okay, for another par. So yeah, uh, I suppose sets a theme for what I've been working on really. Pace is the most important thing. You get your pace right, you're not going to three put. So what I've been trying to do is implement a little bit of decade. Uh, make putting easy, putting is easy. He said tongue in cheek, obviously. But what I found, I played the weekend, had a great front nine, two over gross, so 21 points out. I had no three puts, there was absolutely no pressure to my game. I hit quite a lot of greens and I was in close proximity to the hole. But my pace control was something I was really conscious of. And it just made a massive difference. So on the third hole at my club, I decided to hit three shots from the fairway. First one just missed for birdie. Squeals it past, but just just a foot pass, so again, it's going to be an easy tap in. Again, not too focused on the line at this point. Um, just picking a line, going through my routine, making sure the ball position is in the same place. One look at the hole. Put it on a steady roll. Again, just brush the hole. Remember, these are puts of a birdie, so I've just missed out on birdie on the first two. Again, feet together, same distance from the ball, same routine. Nice, smooth stroke. And I finally get a birdie. So one birdie, two pars. I could almost knock these in one-handed, but no pressure on the putting. So out of all of those puts I've just played, one birdie, two pars, and the again, because the pace control is just so key, even say from 30, 40 feet, if I can get it within one foot, two foot, I'm gonna pretty much guarantee myself, say a par or a bogey, depending on what I'm getting onto the, the hole for, but key to scoring is bogey avoidance. It's one thing I've really learned from decade. You've got to avoid those bogeys, because if you have a double, it's going to take you two birdies to get back. You know, history will tell you, looking at the stats of the best players in the world, you if you're getting double bogey here and there, you aren't going to make them up in birdies. And I do really think, if you're not working on your pace control for your putting, you're probably throwing... You must be throwing at least six shots away around, if not more. What i found um, since I've started practicing my putting again, is just making a huge, huge difference in... The way I'm holding myself across the round. Now, I say I haven't strung together 18 holes really well, say in the last few months really, um, since well, since my first round back. I played well in my first round back. And then after that, I've really struggled to play 18 holes well consistently. That's really boiled down to my driver, uh, which is what I've come out to the course to practice today. Uh, I drove it well in parts, uh, but just overall consistency off the tee. You can't even blame the driver, really. Just overall consistency hasn't been good enough. 